From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook Your Haunted Lives – True Tales of the Paranormal by G. Michael Vasey, a collection of creepy, often downright chilling, true experiences of the strange and weird that'll keep you looking over your shoulder. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A study says there is a connection between drinking black coffee and sadistic, psychopathic tendencies. Not that I'm going to give up black coffee. Los Angeles may soon dedicate a street called Obama Boulevard. Actually, uh, it'll be a toll road that requires change. In Cedro Willie, Washington, Lino Silva was driving down the road when he saw what he thought was a large tree root. Turns out it was a dead, 16-foot-long python. Silva said it had apparently been run over by a car, so he and a buddy hauled the huge snake to a friend's house and did what probably most of us would have done. They skinned it! Said they learned how by watching the Discovery Channel. Lino now plans to call a taxidermist so he can preserve the skin and use it to make a jacket or a vest. Awesome. Down at the Lake County Jail in Florida, 32-year-old inmate Larry Stone made a phone call that would typically cost about $20. But it didn't go through. The charge was supposed to be refunded to his inmate account, but when Larry checked his balance, he discovered his account now had more money than before the call. So he thought he'd test his luck again and made another call and hung up. Once again, more money magically appeared. So he then repeated this little exercise 77 times, exploiting the glitch that was mistakenly depositing credits into inmate trust accounts for each incomplete phone call. After four hours of this, Larry had accumulated more than $1,250, enough money to bond out of jail. So he paid his bond and walked out. But his newfound freedom didn't last long. News of the bug floated to other inmates who began to spend inordinate amounts of time on the phone. But soon the jail officers caught wind of what was going on and put a stop to it. Nevertheless, the glitch affected about 256 jail inmate accounts and lasted 24 hours. Now the software error has been fixed and accounts restored to their pre-glitch totals. And just a few hours after his release, Mr. Stone turned himself in to authorities, saying he knew they were looking for him. He now faces additional charges of scheming with intent to defraud and grand theft. More inmates will likely be charged as well. <laughs> fool me once, shame on you, but fool me 77 times. The latest numbers show that in America our pets are getting fatter. But interestingly, the pets are actually thinner in the states where the people are the fattest. Well, obviously, that's because there are no leftovers in those states. A study says forgetting things is not only normal, it can make people smarter. That must be why I always forget I'm a genius. A city in northern Taiwan is trying the Midas touch to persuade reluctant residents to clean up after their dogs by offering a chance to win gold bars to anyone handing in bags of doggy doo. Starting August 1st, dog owners and other residents of New Taipei City can hand in dog poop to government cleaning teams in exchange for tickets to a drawing. First prize is three gold ingots worth about $2,100. Uh, I don't know, $2,100 or don't pick up poop. I mean, that, that's a tough call. A study says the average wedding guest last year spent $888 on each ceremony. Man, no wonder fewer and fewer people believe in marriage nowadays. They can't afford to attend the ceremonies. Matthew Perry's LA home is up for sale, yours for only $13.5 million. Yep, friends in high places. In Victorville, California, deputies and witnesses were left dumbfounded after a motorcyclist rear-ended a minivan and landed in the back seat unscathed. Meanwhile, the driver of the van continued making his turn and pulled into his own driveway nearby, completely unaware that he had a new passenger. Police spokeswoman Karen Hunt said, "...we're calling this one a non-injury collision with a twist." It seems the driver of the minivan slowed down to make a left turn. The motorcyclist following behind him didn't stop in time and crashed into the rear of the van, shattering the van's window. 
By then, the minivan driver had already committed to the turn and pulled onto his driveway less than a half a block away. As he turned around, the man discovered the shocked motorcyclist behind him, and while there was severe damage to the motorcycle and back of the minivan, amazingly, neither of the men required any medical attention. Although you gotta wonder if maybe that van driver needs a checkup. I mean, if he didn't see, hear, or feel something crash through his back window. Engineers in Boise did an amazing thing. They transplanted a 10-story tall 100-year-old sequoia tree to its new location a couple of blocks away. Traffic in the area was murder. Not because of the slow-moving tractor-trailer hauling the tree, but because of the long line of squirrels having to relocate by crossing the road. A California man has visited Disneyland 2,000 days in a row. So far, he's only been able to get onto five rides. The rest of the time was spent waiting in line. Facebook is in talks with Hollywood studios about producing scripted, TV-quality shows with an aim of launching original programming by late summer. They plan on creating their own version of the TV show Friends, but none of the cast will actually know each other in real life. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!